experience, experience points. points. Shit. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. You almost got blown off the edge right there. Yeah, I would have sucked. That but yeah, we were talking about Batman and um. I left you on a cliffhanger on. Oh my, fuck. Uh, commentary on story versus gameplay. Uh, not gameplay, but combat. Mm -hmm. Um. And so, I enjoy a story. I feel like every game should have a story, for the most part. Like, not no. not just a story. Like, not a tacked-on story. I'd like a good, like, yeah, exactly. enthralling story. Yeah. Like, a quality story that goes with the game. Mm -hmm. um, like, for instance, in uh, Nazi Zombies, there was a hidden story. Which was really good, and I like that they made it hidden, because if they just flat out told you the story, the story would have been garbage. Right. You know? And I like that it was hidden. And it was like all these things that were super out in the open. I mean, there were Easter eggs, but like, there were all these things that were super out in the open that just like, you couldn't tell were part of the story unless you actually looked into it. I'm Patrick now. What? Um. Okay. But... I feel like every game should have a good fighting mechanic, too. If the game involves fighting, that is. Right. A good, like, combat or... Exactly. I feel... Yeah, yeah there's... Uh, according to Game Feel, the book, there are, like, three things that you need. And I... I there was... I don't know the proper names of them. Um, but it's, like, mechanisms, story... And then polish. This game has a lot of polish. You can see that. This fucking leaf, that didn't have to be there. They put that in there, you know? That dude. That. Exactly. This game has a lot of polish. And this, the mechanisms in this game are great, except for the camera. Um, right. <laughs> and it's a decent SpongeBob-esque story. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so this game has proper game feel, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like... I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this. But I feel like every game should have that. It's not even like like a, oh man, like that's just what they want you to think. Like, no, that's a, that, this is like a solid thing that every game should have, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless the games sacrifice story for more, more focused gameplay yeah. and mechanics and polish. polish. That's also super important is polish. What the fuck is that for? He's dancing. Not that guy. <laughs> they're headphones. Earmuffs. Whatever. But he's dancing, so they're headphones. Okay. I'm just trying to find out what this bouncy thing is. Oh, that's... Okay. Takes you back. So much for that speed run. Right. Uh, well, you're still moving at a nice pace. Yeah. But here's, here's what I like Telltale about. The story is so enthralling... That it does kind of like Sacrifice. make up make up for yeah. like the lack of real gameplay. Sacrifice is always smart. Like if you're able to like like if you're sacrificing something, the to other make other something the else, other two better make be. up for yeah. it. And Telltale Games, as far as I've seen, I've never played them. I've watched a few, um, but they have a lot of polish. Like yeah. their their theming is really beautiful and all that, and I love that about yeah. Them. Um, Here, here's, here's the thing. Uh, I really want to play this Batman game because, I mean, there's always different ways people look at Batman. Like, yeah. there's no, like, similar Batman. And, like, I, I think there's Batman in three, three main categories, and there's any combination of two of them. Of, of, there's any combination of the three. So you can have a completely focused on one, focus on two, or, like, kind of a healthy combination of yeah. all three. So those three are the Dark Knight, which is the stealthy, like, kind of, uh... Vicious. Vi like, stealthy vigilante. Yeah. There's the Caped Crusader, which is, like, the kind of, like, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. And just, like... like these spikes are doing to me right now. Right. I'm gonna kick your ass and uh, protect the city. Yeah. And then my favorite of the three is World's Greatest Detective Batman. Yeah. Which is always the most interesting to me because I like I like mystery solving and that's always super like cool. Yeah. And I've um, never been a huge fan of mystery solving in games actually. How so? Like 
it feels so forced. Like, if you... Like, when you... I mean, if you can do it right, then good for you, you know? Mm. But, like... Uh, in Witcher, I made a comment during Witcher, which kind of, I could tell, pissed you off a little bit. I don't remember what uh, it was. Fucking Jesus, man. Stupid sign kills everything. Right. Um, it was like... You were examining the fucking griffin, right? Right. Oh, probably, because I yeah. thought that was one of the coolest aspects of Witcher. And I'm like, you're just pressing the button that says examine. Like, there's no... Yeah. It, it bugged yeah. me. Like, it was It didn't feel like I was doing much, right? I get you. It was felt like I was with an expert instead of the expert, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, of course there's always, like... There was one, um... Okay, I don't really love this game, but I, I liked it while I was playing it. And that was Life is Strange. Yeah. And, like, no. it was it was interesting. Because there was, there was a part where you have to, like, I think it was in the last episode, or the second to last episode, I don't know, where you have to put together evidence. Yeah. I don't think ice works that way. But yeah, shut up. <laughs> unless unless the water is at a specific temperature, but you running around on it would fuck. Yeah, it was actually like super saturated, and that's actually a salt block. Right. Yeah, you know, and it just spreads out really quickly. Right. Anyway, um, there was this whole like d- where you where you're collecting evidence the entire game, and you're putting it together in the final moments. Of, you're putting it together in the final moments of the game yeah. And depending on what you collect Like you might not even collect the right evidence Yeah I don't know if that was true I think it might I might have been like a carry you around And like Like it won't let you leave until you find the right evidence Cause I, I haven't played in a while But um Uh There's an evidence section Where you're putting evidence together And again it's like you're looking, you're putting together the evidence, but it's still kind of holding your hand, yeah. and that you, you can't finish until you get it right. Okay. Like, it makes you get it right, but like you still have to figure it out yourself. Like, yeah, it's, I appreciate you have, that. You have to figure it out yourself, but it won't let you get it wrong. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I, I would have appreciated a chance for error. Like, I know it would have completely like. Like ruined the game if they allowed for error. Like, like it'd be cool if they would show you the ending if you got it wrong. Yeah, you know, like a bad ending. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's with Telltale game. Well, that wasn't a Telltale game, but it's a very similar Telltale game in that it's more story and less gameplay. Yeah, but um, it was still interesting to see. Yeah. That's fair. Mm-hmm. But with Batman, um, the Batman that we see, just ba- just judging based on uh, story alone, like just that one chapter alone, yeah, uh, it focuses more on um, a combination, like a healthy combination of all three, mm-hmm. but leaning towards the stealthy and the detective. Okay. Actually, no, I wouldn't say it leans towards the detective. But like, just based on it being a telltale game, I know it'll it'll drift towards the detective. Yeah. But um. Because I mean, that the Walking Dead game was all about choices, you know. Right. Right. And it's just super like. I don't know whether it'll focus on a big mystery as the big story, a big, uh, a big emotional story, because right now Harvey Dent is your best friend. Like is one of your friends. I don't. I wouldn't say he's your best friend, but he's one of your friends. And I don't. If you don't know the comics, spoiler alert. Put a big spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Uh, Harvey Dent is Two Face. Yeah. Who's like a huge, not a huge villain. I'd say he's a B list villain. He's a pretty big villain. He's yeah, like but when of... you when you think of Batman villains, you think Joker, the Joker Bane. Penguin. Yeah, Penguin. Penguin's the fucking lamest one. Yeah. But it's just super, like, it's interesting. Harvey Dent is interesting. I like his character, actually, a lot. Yeah. I feel like he has the most character development for a villain. Yeah. Because when it comes down to, like, the Joker, 
it's not really development when he kind of maintains this kind of yeah I'm excited is. for fucking Suicide Squad yeah that Joker what's his name uh, Jared, Leto. Jared Leto have you seen the reviews no I haven't they're all horrible I don't trust reviews. I feel. Like I know. Be, I, I know. I feel like it's gonna be good. People are saying that. Oh, people aren't gonna like Will Smith. I don't think. I. I. That's definitely deterring me from watching the movie because yeah. Deadshot's one of my favorite villains. What exactly does he do again? I he's just remember. a. He's just a. He's kind of like Deathstroke, but with a sniper. Okay. Deathstroke is a contract killer. Yeah. Deadshot's a contract killer, but he uses a sniper. But I don't know. Like, I would have been totally fine if it was anyone but Will Smith. Yeah. Like, literally anybody but Will Smith. I'm, I'm just excited. I've always loved the Harley and uh, Joker dynamic. Yeah, I don't like this Harley. No? No. It's very, like... I, th- I feel like she matches Jared Leto. Sure, but she's also very objectified looking. Well, like, that's always kind of been Harley's point. Well, she's like, be- this one's just, like... Her character's always been kind of a nymphomaniac, right? Yeah. But this character, that's all she really looks like. Well, yeah. I mean, you can't keep the same old outfit because that one was for a different time. Yeah, but, like, she's still... Like, she doesn't even act like Harley. No? Harley was, like, crazy. Yeah. And, like, interesting. Well, that's all we've seen in the commercials, right? I yeah. mean, I haven't seen... I feel like her right. character's still batshit. I mean, that's, like... Yeah, but I've always found... Harley to be interesting based on her undying obsession with, with the, the Joker. Joker. Yeah. Which that's, is, I feel like what, that's going to be one of the main points is that she's going to get back with the Joker. I haven't seen I don't it. know. I, I don't know. know. I really don't know what it's I going hope to be. he's, that, that J- Jared Leto is going to be in the next Batmans. You know? Yeah, I think, I think Ben Affleck said he might be focusing on, uh, a, one, a lighter toned Batman. Which, I mean. Not the Dark Knight? Not the Dark Knight, not what we saw in BVS, which I still haven't seen, but all I heard was that no one really. Ben Affleck was one of the saving graces of the movie. <laughs> but I never saw the movie. I wanted to, but I'm pretty sure it's out of theaters now. And I'm gonna buy the DVD eventually. Or I could get it for my birthday. Fuck. I could add that to my list. Look at all this birthday shit. Well, my, my birthday is uh, August 13th. Congratulations. Which is like not dead yet. nine days from now. Yeah, I know. I'm still not dead. Still not dead. Did you see that shit, I man? did. That was pretty imp- impressive. What the fuck? Kill yourself. Get out of here. Fucking tit. I don't know. I like Batman a lot. He's not my favorite superhero. I feel like he's super cliche at times. There's, well, yeah, there's times where he's ba- super classic though. I think that's right. comes, that comes with the territory of being Batman. Right. There are times where Batman is one of my favorite superheroes because he has one of my favorite storylines. Yeah. And that's the Court of the Owls is one of my favorite uh, Batman storylines. Which just, one's that? Uh, it's one where I want them to do that in a movie. Where it's uh, Batman up against this long line of, like, basically, uh, uh, kind of, fuck, I can't think of the word. Order. Um, it's a big order of assassins that have been existing throughout history. And, um, there's this scene, there's this part in the comics towards the end of the Court of the Owls. Where it's Batman losing his mind in a maze. Okay. And, like, he's basically... Like, he's almost dead in this maze. Yeah. And, like... It's just really interesting watching Batman go up against this, like, almost unstoppable entity. So, it's really cool. Fuck! Ah, <laughs> tits. Alright. I died. That's your first death. Yeah. Well, I mean, deaths are super inconsequential in this game. There's no lives. Oh. What the fuck? I was on the edge. Come on. Come on. What was he doing? What was that? What the fuck? Was he looking at his dick? SpongeBob? SpongeBob have a penis? 
Do you have to use the hat? No, that's no. That's just straight up and down. There we go. There's a sock over there. Yeah, I want that fucking sack. Rock 'em sock 'em. Yeah, you did it. I know. Um, it's just so fucking good. And humble. Yep. Um. Yep, 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 yep. I like Batman. He's not my favorite superhero, but he is interesting. So, um, there are points where, like, whenever you're telling a Batman story, no matter what it is, you still have to hit those few Batman beats, like, story beats, in order to really make it a Batman story. And some of those beats are really cool, but some of them are also repetitive. Dead parents. I feel like the most repetitive and annoying Batman story beat is the I work alone one. Yeah. That is legit the like most annoying to me. You can just show that and not tell it. Yeah. But he always has to say, I work alone. And I'm like, stop! It's so boring. I want to see Batman team up with someone. Like... Create a new dynamic I've never seen before. Like a dynamic. Which Batman Brave and the Bold did. That cartoon from like 2011 was Batman Brave and the Bold, where every episode Batman teamed up with someone. Like, complete. Like, some heroes I never even heard of, but like I fell in love with from that show. Like, Blue Beetle was introduced to me on that show. Yeah. And he's super cool. He's a super cool gadget guy. Like, I'm talking about the one where it's Jaime Reyes, the guy with the super beetle suit, which is super cool. Not the one where it's... I mean, I appreciate classic uh, Blue Beetle, but nothing beats Jaime Reyes, because he looks super cool. With the Tartar Sauce guy, you have to kill him twice. Yeah, I, I think I figured that out. I don't get how Tartar Sauce is so, like, evil in this world. Well, because you, you, you eat Tartar Sauce with, like, fish sticks. Yeah, I know, but like, it's a dipping sauce, it's not acid. Although some would say it is, because it's gross. I'm sure that, like, well shit, we haven't stopped this episode. Yeah, I was about to say, you can hold that thought. Yeah, hold the thought. And use it on the next episode. Yeah. Bye! Later, bitches.